Hey everyone, it's me again, Monica, and we're going to go over the carrier units here with Mark Polly, and um, he's going to show you how to do a pre-trip on it and how to work these and some important facts about the carrier units, okay? I, so here he goes. Okay, first thing we're going to do is when you hook to the trailer, do your pre-trip, set the reefer into a pre-trip. Which you can access in the menu option. Uh, you have a menu button on the left side that when you select that, it'll say IntelliSat pre trip. You want to select the pre trip, at the end of it, it'll tell you if it passed or failed it. Uh, if it failed, it'll tell you what it failed for. Uh, if it passed, then that's great. And then you're ready to go to your IntelliSets to reach your set point, which we have name settings in them, but we also have a range of numbers in them. If you're trying to get to, uh, a set point between, say, 11 and 24 degrees, you go ahead and select that range of numbers, exit the menu, and use your up and down arrows to change it to whatever set point you're trying to get to and select the equals button. Uh, a good thing to keep in mind when uh, with everybody going out west and the condensers get clogged up, drain lines get clogged up, uh, which these are your drains. If the reefer can't drain the water off, it freezes the coal over. In that case, you have a defrost button that you can select manually defrost the coal and it should dump about a gallon gallon and a half of water out as long as those lines are cleaned out other than that as long as you've got a green light uh you're good up here your status light if you get an amber light up here then you've got problems and you need probably need to pull over and call somebody that's about it all right everyone just remember, if you have any problems with your reefer unit, please do not take it upon yourself to uh, try to take care of it. Call somebody because we can get you into a shop at any point in time to get it repaired. So we're not going to let, uh, we don't want anything to happen out there and we don't want to have any kind of cargo claims or anything like that because the reefer unit wasn't running right, okay? In the future, um, coming up soon, I'm going to have one on the Thermaking unit and some little tricks and tips that will help you uh, out on the road, okay? Thanks so much, we appreciate you.